So this is my second B blog, but even from um, reading. And um, well, the question number one is: Make store the entire temporary available exhibit surface from the website hell.com and we published it on 0.1.org. What do you think they were trying and saying about copyright and ownership as it relates to art and internet by this action? Well, the internet is basically an open space. Anybody could access it, which is possible for people to see and capture and do what they can in the sense of saying it's theirs. More like just, it's not in the sense of saying it's theirs, but more like, like changing in the way it's viewed. Um, well, Hello.com got um, mad because, well, they said their copyright and ownership was not respected. But it didn't really matter because they were not being changed. They were, it was just able to be downloaded even though Hell.com was a closed system. What are differences between act and hacktivism and even Franco's theft of Hell.com exhibit? Well, it wasn't really theft, so they just downloaded. They just made it possible for them to download and then put up somewhere else. But hacktivism is the use of computers and networks network to protest and promote political aims like attacking certain specific media or trying to get them something but Ava and Frankel weren't trying to be against anything just work with what they found and let people access to everyone like um hell.com was um just for people with passwords to be able to access that and they made it possible for them for people to um get access to it without the password without the need of having a password my thoughts about the Ava and Franco Nike situation was it, it wasn't really, I didn't see it as offensive um, because it's overall how you perceive things and overall it showed the power that Nike has but I see it as a form of rebellion maybe to challenge them but maybe offending to Vienna but that's how they work to see how far how Ava and Franco work to see how far they can go for people to see what what's happening around them basically like a wake up call um second a uh, second life avatar is like a portrait because well you can change it and make it in the way that you want it to like if you take a picture you want it a certain way and then you capture it and well you, it comes out how you want it to um it's like a way to make it your own to reveal something you want either to look like you like you like and the avatar to look like you or what you want people can basically make new identities for themselves not totally the same mirror picture and what types of concerns well the synthetic performance were like 60s and 70s friends we made to bring earlier art experience to a virtual world and help make more imagination more inter um the performances in virtual in the virtual world um were more interactive and unpredictable. Um there were different perceptions for avatar for like avatars from Second Life. It because they some of them didn't know the history behind what they were doing so they couldn't understand what was going what can go what can be going on and basically I'm you know, confused but those to those who don't um, and for those who do they can sense it and see it more differently than those who don't who are probably more confused about what's going on if they see this happening they probably wouldn't pay attention to it or see the art it has for more and they'd probably be offended or something what is my mate's art about um I think it's more about making, it's not of making new art, but what is already made, just changing it, like the performance pieces and other um, art pieces that have been going around, um, sort of mixing them, and and I think their way that unites them to express them is through theft of many of their art and mixing them to something different that sometimes carry personal messages which is basically the thing behind it to have something that people can see and interpret for themselves not necessarily 
um, be like, oh, that's art, or I've seen that already, but see the difference that it has, and how some art may be repetitious or something. Uh, flogging a dead horse. Well, um, if you, the definition is like beating a dead horse, a dead horse, mm -hmm. but the real cause is like why would you be, well, why would you continue harm on something when the, when there is no gain to, to that. Um, like bringing a, a situation and over again, it's like there's no point anymore. It's just the same. It's repetitious. And even Franco, they say they prefer to stay in the real rotten world by staying in a real world. They will die. So they think like that. They have lived in page one thirty six where I read this. Like that's how they see that basically what's happening around us and everywhere.